Welcome back to Dimension. Let's continue. We are in the location called the Cabin. Which is very strange because I'm pretty sure in English cabin is where the passengers are. Alright, so we are going to look at this. Cat plus something. Please, Senora, please, please don't touch. Help! <laughs> I can't breathe. That's not what it says, especially not the last part. Interesting. This machine can switch between. Whoops! My mistake. What's that? Finally, a drawing that's not upside down. This is the cat. Any tips? Machine room. In this room, you could see Dr. Spagnoli Gonzalez at work. This dude was experimenting with animals. He was changing animals' voices and giving them other animals' voices and qualities. He was moving the animals through two opposite machines. Alrighty then. Let's move animals through two opposite machines. Yeah, some people complained about humming in the background. In many of the screens. Well, how about farting? Something is happening to that cat. Yeah, it's it got sucked into this. Yeah, let's press the button. This will do something. I think. I think we've just flushed the cat. There must be some use for this. Something. Is she here more than another person? Or maybe not. Happened. Oh, we got a weird fish. Loves to eat rabbits. This could be useful, be very useful. Interestingly, the walkthrough doesn't actually mention that we get the weird fish here. I'm coming. No way, Jose. No matter how big, it ain't worth it. All right. Interesting. The door is interactable, but this plank is actually the entrance. I like this place. I really like this place. 
the artist. We were still stuck in the same hallway and Agent Rabbit thought that it was a good opportunity to tell us more about other places in that world. He sent guys who didn't feel like listening to the gym to do exercises on one of the floors with two trainers. Agent Rabbit circulated an apology sheet that said he was sorry about this crummy world. It said this world was created by a private constructor who was also a deaf architect. This clumsy architect could not understand his own plans and that is why this whole world was built upside down. If, for instance, we enter the first room, we would see a room that is actually two parallel rooms. The floor of the upstairs room is also the ceiling of the downstairs room. That's brilliant. We try to find our bra. Oh, yes, there's our bra. And we... we take this. Same to our normal chicken. And stick it into the farm. All right, I think I think a chicken has been eaten. Not sure I understand how this world works. Weird closet. Seems like these two drawers are connected. I'm not sure, but something just isn't right. Anyway, I must go upstairs and whip myself up a self-portrait. Now we'll use this object, which... Down, boy! Come here, cutie! Jerk! Down, boy! Come here, cutie! Jerk! Okay, let's wait. So what did we get? We got a camera with a backwards flash. Could be useful, I suppose. Wait, 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 wait. The model of the flash doesn't look like it's aiming backwards. They quite literally took a regular model of a camera and just made it shine a lights effect backwards. Oh no, I missed my waxing appointment. Do you see any shoes? No? Okay... I think we're supposed to solve this puzzle. 
somehow. This is a strange arrow. Goes up. I see. What the fuck is going on here? I saw the state of this man's home, said Agent Rabbit, who interfered with our peeping at a sensual couple. You would understand why this world looks so bad. First of all, he went on, his home, the QB Dome, isn't fixed properly, and that's why there's no electricity, because the wires aren't connected. It's hard to work like that. Secondly, if the architect had bothered to fix the cube, people would be able to get on the little bridge from the outside and enter it. Maybe then somebody would find the lost plans and bring them to him. Well, anyway, this world was a disaster. Inverse, converse, reverse, topsy turvy. What a mess! Okay, let's give him the blueprints as the hints tells us to. So this did absolutely nothing. Hey, stranger, pay attention to me. Hey, stranger, pay attention to me. Right, let's do the bucket thing. Let's see you now, cowboy, you skirt-chasing disc jockey. Okay, okay, I get it. Into the bra, girls. Dance us a little number, won't you? The hell is this? Okay, where's the exit? Where is the exit? doesn't have anything to say about this. Okay, let's explore. I said explore. Any comments? Art! The cornerstone of a neurotic civilization. Ooh, la, la. 
Aha, I hear voices. It seems like these two drawers are connected. Uh, so apparently that was the procedure for navigating the world. Now we need to get out of here, back to the map. We're mostly done with this place. Okay, I only need to... Okay, let's split. Welcome back to Thing. Now, are you ready to meet the asshole who left us all these audio recordings? I hope you are. Let's go. Mr. Rabbit, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Old woman is, uh, worth something? No, it isn't. Can I interact with him in any way? George, you did some things you wouldn't believe. Well, let's attract his attention. Actually, wait a minute, let's listen. Something. Shame. Uh, how can we attract his attention? Yes. Have you been here? I assume George didn't explore this area. That's a very bold assumption. Good. What's that? That's the best bargain in space! <laughs> Good. What's that? That's the best bargain in space! <laughs> Good. What's that? Oh, it's wonderful! Good. What's that? Oh, it's... Good. Oh, it's... I think I get the general idea of this room. The best bargain in space! <laughs> uh, let's solve this puzzle and get out of here. Flying casket, remember that? There must be some use for this. Well, not yet. I must put something inside this coffin. If not, it will never fly. Hmm. Well, let's put George inside the coffin. What have we got for this? We have a camera.
Does this count as rescuing George? Hello? Hello? The line's dead. Nah, it's just the phone. Now we need to find the suitcase. There's a suitcase. You can't really see it from the default position. But it's actually a vital item. Suitcase with a sock credit card. A what? Opening curtains and launching missiles. Yeah, we need to go back to the villa. Alright, let's find George's secret room again. It's somewhere through the laundry basket, I think. Yes, it's here. The suitcase is useful for, what, opening curtains? Well, let's use it. Oh! There is a missile now. Where did it go? Should be useful. Can also be used as a hat. Well, this this hat doesn't clap its hands, so it's completely useless. They're going to Sprocket City. Nothing is going to distract my attention. Think of anything new. I just happen to have a helmet. First, George. The race. Our tour with Agent Rabbit during late evening mm -hmm. hours gave no special contribution to humanity. In that weird place, I saw a strange race with a very strange <clears throat> judge. I saw an extraordinary grail. Agent Rabbit said that the one who would receive it or take it by force would become famous and popular. I wanted it, of course, but... Wow! Man! These creatures were so happy I couldn't believe it! They could really make whoopee! Now, if you want to join the game, after the judge wakes up, he insists that you put on a safety helmet. I think I forgot my helmet when I left the secret room in the villa. Oh dear. Am I an idiot? Well, that's one possibility, but it's not realistic. I think there's no way I can reach the Grail. I tried to play with him each time I got there. Uh. 
Mm. Right, let's get the grail and put on a helmet first. Okay, you may begin. Do I have to wait for them to to fix everything? Great. Let's wait for someone to jump onto a red one, I guess. Oh, great! So these guys keep jumping up and down. So as long as I'm standing here, they keep jumping. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Fuck you, puzzle. Well, this puzzle was complete garbage. It's just a goblet. Getting out of here, back to thing. Nothing will distract my attention in my pit. Okay, what are we doing here? Wait, these are two different locations. I think. Let's try getting to the bottom one. I love to make balloons. I love to make balloons. I love to make make balloons. I love to 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 make balloons. I really love to make balloons. I love to make balloons. Make balloons. Make balloons. I love to make balloons. My whole life is making balloons. I love 
understand. Your balloons are an excuse for a mental illness. Hey, old lady. Just because you know how to dance doesn't mean you know how to babe. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Okay. I need this electricity for cars? You can take it. Is there any way that you could stop that crazy blowing so I could take that engine over there? You can take it. Well, obviously I can't. Hey, 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 you lousy dancer. Don't you see that I'm working here? Can, can you shut this bird up, please? <laughs> Fuck, it hasn't shut up. Stumps with holes. What are those? Hey, holes! It's one of those worms which are supposed to make everything green. It looks like they're on vacation. The Balloon Maker. Sometimes you watch people and you can't understand what makes them tick. What do they want? Well, this guy, the Balloon Maker, knew exactly what he wanted. This balloon business had really gone up to his head. He wanted to be recognized as the greatest balloon maker in the history of the world. Well, that's quite a legitimate wish. I don't think his prayers were answered. All that infantile singing and the balloon inflation protest didn't press anyone. He had a special engine that was doing all the mad inflation work. I thought it was worth a fortune. I tried to persuade him to give it to me, but he wouldn't let me have it. He only panicked and started to sing and inflate faster. I just went on. Lampshade. Here you are, and now the machine. Oh. <laughs> no problem. You can bring me the trophy now. Hey, you lied. Oh, we need to give him the prize so that as if he were the greatest balloon maker in the world. Fine, whatever you want. Oh my sweetie, let me give you some kisses. Yes, yes, bravo. I'm just a simple man. I have no teeth, but I am the world's greatest balloon blower. Thank you very much. I want to give thanks to... me! So apparently it will produce light. Oh. After meeting a toilet bowl, there comes a young forest. Let's see if there's something interesting here. Alright, there's the car we've got out of the X guy's head. Ah. It doesn't seem to run though. Let's stick something into it. An engine and a car battery. Hey, asshole! Here's the magnet. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. Excuse me. Could you help me with this magnet, please? Excuse me. Could you help me with this magnet, please? 
I'm not sure what this magnet is supposed to be. We need to go to the left exit. There's a left exit here. fountain that's built out of a suitcase. It's like a water fountain that's built out of a suitcase. Nice. Oh, it's a shame I don't have one of these babies in my house. Maybe that drink influences the way he is. It's natural with creatures of this sort. Okay, we're trying to stop the kangaroo. Maybe that drink influences the way he is. It's natural with creatures of this sort. Maybe that drink influences the way he is. It's natural with... Maybe that drink influences the way he is. He stopped to drink. Maybe I can get him in a moment of weakness and take advantage of... It's too perverted. But then it... Rest. Good. Rest. In the last city, even that marathon runner had to stop and drink when he got thirsty. Oh, I get it. We need to stop the kangaroo and jump onto it from the bench. Maybe that drink influences the way he is. It's natural with creatures of this sort. Maybe that drink influences the way he is. It's natural with... Maybe that drink influences... Granny, shut up. He stopped to drink. Maybe I can get him in a moment of weakness and take advantage of... It's too perverted. But then again... The fuck? Why did... Oh, for fuck's sake. Maybe that drink influences the way he is. It's natural with creatures of this sort. Don't you love it when there is a timing puzzle for something you can't actually see? Maybe that drink influences the way he is. It's natural with creatures of this sort. And for some reason, I can't really activate this thing with just one press. I have to double click. Maybe that drink influences the way he is. He stops to drink. Maybe I can get him in a moment of weakness and take advantage of... It's... Oh. Two hellish puzzles in one update. Wonderful. Exciting, we got a regular magnet. The forest. We waited in line and were very pleased to find out that the dark world was a fantastic world. I was impressed. In the forest, your mean of transport is the kangaroo. We had to give them a special drink they loved before we set off. Agent Rabbit bought a few cans of this special drink. Some of us bought cans and we took off on the kangaroo's backs. Yep, that's... that would have been helpful. Nice, so we got to, to the pinball world and now we're going to this place. Although this place looks suspect, I don't think my recipe book is in here. Now, are you cool cats and doggies? If 
you play the game properly and you dance to the right speed and shake your butt to the rhythm, then do I ever have a present for you? A hat with little clapping hands right on the top! Holy shit, that's exactly what we need. Oh, I think that's... That's the head on that guy, on the DJ. For now... And now, ladies and please, if there's a change in the people in the room, then we need a change of atmosphere. We have something we can rig the dancing competition with. The red dancing boots. Like, I don't believe this! I'm dying here! Is that it? Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the dancer that moved her big hairy butt to the rhythm in the best grooviest possible way is going to receive a prize of their highest value. Okay, that was a glitch. Right, so we've got our quest item, we'll be using it next time, which I hopefully will be the last update. Let's see if George has anything to say about the disco. Disco. In spite of my perfect slim body, my dancing abilities, and the tempting winning prizes the DJ offered, I couldn't enter the dance floor. Each time I tried to approach it, got stuck in a strange electric circle that made dancing impossible. I was told the best dancer would win a prize. The shame. It could have been me. All this crap stopped interesting me when I found out there was a gambling room inside. I went to the agent rabbit who was busy dancing with wolves and I asked him about the gambling room. He told me, that's it, the party's over, before you enjoy gambling, you must suffer. And that's why I found myself, to my horror, in this karaoke thing, a kind of singing audition. Hmm, so there is another room here. So, we'll end here next time, more really, really obnoxious noises, and hopefully the end of the game. We only have like half a page of the walkthrough left. <laughs>